Welcome back to Less Cash, More Mash. My name's Tom. I'm Mike. And today we're cracking open a new bottle of Noble Oak, Double Oak Bourbon. So this one was a recommendation by Richard nice okay richie k nice six nine eight six wanted to see this one versus uh woodford reserve double oak so i didn't even never even heard of this one and super shopper of the channel steve come across that so i was like grab that we're gonna crack it today future sun uh life has, fight friday has it been here he's found i i yeah, see it no we have it we have found it here yes it wasn't i want to say he got it out in uh Reading Mass or something like that. He got it on this one. He got this for twenty nine ninety nine. He's actually just found it today for uh, twenty six ninety nine. But we already have one. It's a ninety proof bourbon. This is MGP juice, uh, and it's made or bottled at the Noble Oak Spirits Company. So the fun fact about this one, and again, these are fun facts. We can't hundred percent. Supposedly, the Ed Rington Group which is the same people that make McAllen, the famous grouse, Highland Parks, all them fancy ones we haven't afforded, the scotches, teamed up with the Brain Brew Custom Whiskies in Newtown, Ohio. And like, it sounds far-fetched because they're tiny little people, but supposedly they teamed up and that's what they, they come up with this concoction to use. They supposedly used Woodcraft Finishing, which is with that high speed, their version of the high yeah, speed yeah. rapid aging that they can do. So we'll see what this one tastes like. But, with, uh, with Sherry oak or sherry. Well, this one actually is finished. They actually finished this one with uh, sherry oak staves. And I want to say there's also some French oak staves in there, too. Depending on which research I was doing, they said something about that, too. So I knew the bottle said sherry. But... This one says sherry, correct. So that's my five minutes of fame. Yeah. Again, it has it has some uh, it has some good color on it, though. I don't know exactly. It didn't have an age statement on the bottle or no, in not. any of the information that i was looking at so yeah I, I had a little problem but i'm not really sure Just a little on the actual age but we wood, did wood. say at one point in time that we wanted to see what it would do with regular wood but jesus i missed the whole glass on this one i guess so both of them that's all right to my first pour too look at how bad that is so someone suggested that richard nice i'm gonna call it richard nice that's k nice so i don't know if it's if it, it's silent k but they uh or oh, if that's just in his name, suggested this name. to go up against of the, yeah, it could be a fake name too, who knows, to go up against Woodford Double Oak. Now, I will say, it's got some stiff competition. You know, I know this is those, this review. Those jumps out not too bad right off the bat. I, I, I didn't even really start yet. I'm just going to say, like, if you were going to, are you going to bet money with with uh, whether Woodford was going to beat Old Forester? I would have put money on Old Forester, but it really did dominate in that, in that mm -hmm. aspect last time. Mm -hmm. So it'll be interesting to see if this can hold. This is well less than half the price of what Woodford Double. So well, th that's going to be the difference. Not on in it. Connecticut, where I was. It's like anywhere else. You can find it. Because what what I tell you, I think it was like forty three somewhere up there, somewhere up so. there. But then again, you, normally we got Woodford for forty nine, but nine times out of ten you find it for sixty five. No, this, this was forty three. No, I understand yeah, that. Yeah. But I, normally um, you find Woodford Reserve Double Oak for like sixty five everywhere. Yeah, it's been. The cheapest pride that I've seen is Steve has like one store that sells forty nine, and that's the I one I got it at. Yeah, fifty nine. I mean, the nose isn't bad. It's not no, screaming. Oh, let me get a sip. Even the, the flavors right there. No, that's actually pretty nice. Actually, it's, it's it's very good. It has a nice nice little. I don't know if I get the sherry, but I get the oak. That is like my that was like my first sip there. I, I only took a little one on the first, and that's that was actually very nice. It's still still got a lingering on my tongue. Usually these would send me like a little bit different flavor. This one really doesn't. I get like an oak, a heavy. You mean oak. it with the sherry finish? Yeah, it gives you that thought, fruit aspect, or, and it yeah. may open up. I mean, we just cracked it. The reason I'm doing it today also is to give it a, a good week of, of of being open, so that uh, if we do end up doing it for Blind Fight Friday, the nose is jumping. It's not lagging for a sub thirty dollar bottle. This 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 is this is that so far ninety proof on the first sip, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. mm. 
What makes it a good comparison? Because what is the proof of all Woodford Oaks unless you get it's a special duty? It's 90.4. There it is. So <laughs> it'll actually be, I mean, that, oh, that's another one that is like cranking for a 90 proofer. That, that. I'm not disappointed. No. You just have to, you just have to do your due diligence on checking your prices because th this, it's almost like a 25, 30 dollar swing. Swing, yeah. you know. If you're worried about your nickels, they do have a rye out too. I didn't. I, he found that today also. <laughs> I, I said that he goes, "Do you want the rye?" I'm like, uh, eighty bottles under the table. No, thank you. Yeah. You're gonna hold on with that one. And some dumbass just bought a rye. Man, I'll tell you, I'm not disappointed at all. No, but the more I keep drinking it, again, this is gonna. This isn't even open. Especially up yet. if you find it for twenty six. They just that, that. This is what I'm saying. He that's, did twenty six ninety nine. He showed me a picture on the shelf. That that's that's really good. You gotta get it for me. That's actually this is pretty tasty. He's going to be getting it for himself. He's, he's been waiting. That's why he keeps tending them. He's been waiting like, did you do it? Did you do it? Did you do it? Because I'm finding it cheaper. Did you do it? I want one for me. The more I keep drinking it. Now, I don't, I mean, we recently did Woodford. I don't remember the length of the thing. If I have any complaint, and it just opened up, so it's not really a complaint. There's not a huge finish going on. It does have a nice amount of flavor, but it's, it's, it's not like, uber viscous you know what i mean like it, I it, see it, mine seems to be hanging a little bit for especially i just switched that so it's it's stuck on the side of my tongue i, I, I yes is it a bookers no is no it, but it's we're not even close to that so no i mean for, but, for but what, what i'm is, saying is it's just like it's not it's not water I, just, I just no but it, it, it it's just a I, I enjoy the notes, mouth. but I enjoy the taste. Go back with the. I just swished it all around to actually acclimate myself to the. I'm not. I didn't mean it. I don't want it as a complaint. I mean, for a twenty six to twenty nine ninety nine or to fifty three ninety nine, depending on what you find it on. Mm -hmm. I mean, for that price, honestly, with this amount of flavor, and it just being the fact that we just cracked it, and it hopefully will open up a little bit better. So we said this, honestly, there's certain ones. I, I mean, I'm going to bring them out. I'm going to keep saying it. The Green River ones, when we did it, we were like, it's all right. Yeah. And then we put it in a blind and was like, what is that? And they just dominated. It did. Both it of did. Them. They dominated. I mean, I picked them I think this first is going to hold its own. It's going to be an interesting fight. Like I told you in, in the beginning, um, we, I didn't, really I didn't think disappointed. I didn't think Woodford Double Oak had a shot. At, I, I like that banana aspect. I usually get off of Old Forester, but really it, it drank. It didn't drink as this nose is really coming around. That the Woodford just drank so much better when we did it. I no, guess, this is I, I really guess, I guess darkening up. This, too. If you are watching it and you're interested, look, try to try to find something around closer to the thirty mark. I don't know if I'd go to the fifty three mark, but you shouldn't have to. No, but at at the more it sits in a glass, no, I'm, it, I'm getting like a thick brown sugar, almost when you get mm -hmm. that brown sugar vanilla mix, like if you're gonna make a, a banana bread, but you haven't put it's the bananas strong. in yet. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. really. Thick. Yeah, you can put in so it hasn't, a little it caramel hasn't, drizzle with it as well. It's, yeah, it's but all, it just yeah, hasn't fully developed into a caramel. It's just giving me that, that muddled mix when you get that brown Which, sugar vanilla flavor, you know, where yeah. it hasn't fully developed. And it, didn't, but, it didn't give a mash bill at all. Mm -mm. Which I started with MGP. No, I, I'll give MGP some credit, though. They, they send out a lot of juice to different places. Oh, no, they, they all do, yeah. for the most part. Do a pretty decent job in, in whatever the which way they want to tweak it. So, mm -hmm. no right. I mean, there's so many companies out there that use their 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 liquid. The more that sits in a glass, the better it keeps getting. I was gonna say, I'm, I'm I, I, yeah. I guess the only other dilemma, if there's a dilemma, is this one's like whoop mm -hmm. whoop. You know, there's not a lot of kick. But that being said. There's a lot of flavor. Woodford Reserve Double Oak drank so refined, no it, it, elbows. It, does, it, it does. drinks so. I mean, this is going to be a really good comparison because if there is a fruit aspect that does come out of there, and I'm, I have like this little hint. It, there is. It is coming of, around of like a, a fruit. It, it, there's a minor. So if it can develop into, a, it might have a shot. If it can bring a fruit aspect to bring it on again, it's all going to depend on the finish to me or the oiliness or the you know what I mean, the viscosity when I'm drinking it. Yeah. Because to me, that's the only thing I'm working off a of memory here. This drinks very well. Don't get me wrong. It does. It's not overly oaky though. Like I'm not... In, in, initially, I got that, but now that I've, I've I've been sipping, 
it's almost like you're saying it is here today gone and tomorrow once, type deal. Once, and once it, what, it's the gone. oak's kind of already like there, so I, I I don't catch it as quick now. So and a lot of times you get that nice oaky finish. I'm not yeah, really not getting that. No, I'm not really getting that with this one. Like some of the some of the bottles, I mean, we, when you're drinking, you know, it's like oh yeah, nice lingering mm -hmm. caramelly. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting any really heavy oak presence in there. It's it's but still it's, got a good finish. It's very good, very good. And I am the more it sips, I'll be interested to see when this comes out if I start getting more of a fruit aspect because I, I I I wouldn't be able to claim what fruit it is, but it no. is it is like brightening up, like it's lightening up, like I was getting that that muddled. It, it for the sub thirty dollars we got it at, I'd buy it again. I, I I'd say it hold its own on yeah. a. Quite a few of the thirty dollar bottles that we have behind us. Mm -hmm. So, at that price, I would definitely try to get this if if you're, you know, expanding your collection. I don't disagree. I, I was thinking in my head. I was I was trying to venture back to like all the different double oaks that we did. Like we did the uh, like the Jim, Jim Bean Bean. double oaks and the other ones. And I was trying to think in my head, would it would it be able to hang with all of them? It might. You know what I mean. Jim Bean was another little sleeper of that with the double oak that it was did again. Right. It was it was very good. We that haven't was, put it, we haven't put it to the test. No, it's, and it's on our list over there with one of them. But, too. No, yeah, right. Because none of them that, that's a that sub like thirty. Yeah, Got to be right yeah. in that general range. This this nose is very good. It's, it's it just keeps getting better. Good. I've been trying to stall a little bit to let it come out, but again, this will be a uh, future blind fight Friday. Anyway, it's probably the next one that we do. So we'll let this open up. Mm. Hopefully, the fruit comes out a little bit more. Because as I'm sitting here, I swear I'm getting, I don't really want to say a cherry, though. Definitely but I'm getting definitely getting like a bright, that's a lighter thing. So hopefully that, that wakes up in there. So thank you again, uh, Richard. Nice 6986 for this uh, suggestion, just in general for the review. And yes. uh, we will definitely put it up in the Black Fight Friday that you suggested and it coming up. it was semi-easy because it's up here. Well, that's just it. When he wrote it, I was like, never heard of it, but I'll keep my eye out. And then I said. It doesn't stand out. As a bottle, yeah. it really doesn't. Probably walked by it a thousand times. I, exactly. Even where I was the other night in Connecticut, it was actually tucked behind bottles. The kid knew right where it was. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, there's so really that, that's the out. that's the problem though. This you know, with so many names out there, unless you're looking for something specific, you can glance right by the one. You, you know what I mean? Like, there's yeah, so they, many good bottles out they there. They had no allocated even, there. It was just a. But he knew where he knew where this was. This was. He knew where a couple others were. But again, he was pricey. Yeah. Well, there you go. We'll leave this one short and sweet. And uh, again, I can't wait for Friday now to, just to see if this can hang. Because I'll tell you, the Woodford Double Oak has been—it's been a beast. It, it's, it's taken on two contenders I, I, and, and, and reigns supreme. Like to see, because you, you keep saying forty-nine, and I always see it for fifty-nine. I'm like, do I want ten dollars more? I don't really need it. Well, so. when you decide you want it, Steve knows exactly where he keeps getting. It. He's like, oh. it's still there. So uh, there you go. There is the Noble Oak Double Oak Bourbon, finished Very in good. a Sherry Oak. Cass, uh, staves uh, again it does that quick thing that's the one thing i wanted to see because a lot of times when people do just i'll wrap it up real quick but a lot of people when they when they do the rapid aging we are like the only people that haven't had negative uh, reviews about that people are like taste terrible this i'm not getting any weird uh, taste in this no. at all it tastes solid throughout i've been letting Even it sit on my tongue i mean yes it's but they're using so much unique wood you get the unique wood flavor not right. the, no, not we, that it's people uh, are the, saying like nasty you know, flavors from I, it. I guess I'd have to see exactly, but I, it doesn't matter to me. It's just, if they could do something in a month's time versus five-year time, A plus to them. My, my little quick test, like, I leave that on my tongue. I let it roll around. It's not changing flavors. It's holding no. its flavor throughout. It, it's not giving me a grassy, nasty taste no, or any no. kind of funk at all so far, whether it changes or not. But that's happened in other ones, mm. in, in big name ones. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So... There you go. I highly recommend it if you yeah. see this. Thank you again for the recommendation. We'll yes. wrap this one up. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Spend less, drink more. Cheers. Cheers. Subscribe. The more I drink this, the more I like it. If you were starting another story.